as the sun rises. Hello and welcome back to Thunder Kiwi Wolves and the Austro-Hungarian army. Yes, I cannot stay away from being a real Austrian hero. Ah, my brave riders, let us charge forth as the sun rises. Man, I need to rewatch all of the Rings movies. They're still so good. All right, well, we will follow our German comrades as we navigate the swamps of the Balkans in the early morning light. What a lovely, lovely cracker day. The sun's right shining. I'm guessing there's a light breeze. It's not too overcast, but, you know, the sun isn't burning you. Jolly good situations for a battle. Ah, got him. Nice, there we go. Right. Fuck. Chuck out my straight pull rifle. Oh, looks like we've got Russians and Latvians and all manner of enemies to the flank. Flanking fire. I don't understand Austro Hungary. Hungarian? No, Austrian. No, Austrians speak German, don't they? Ah, uh, Europe's too complicated. It's probably more simpler when you everyone spoke Latin. Damn, I thought I would have hit that guy. Ooh. Russians silhouetted against the sunlight. What a lovely morning. Alright. Ah, machine gun. <laughs> oh, ragdoll physics. Never change. Look, German man, I nearly shot you in the back of the head. Do not do that. Ooh, beautiful. Ah. No, I, I should make this more interesting and do, like, play this with only using a pistol or something like that. Spice it up a little bit. Although, I cannot resist watching these guys fall over and die when I've got accurate hits of my rifle. It is mighty appealing. Bugger off, Russian meme. Oh, as he was running, too. Hello, soldiers. Right. Poo. I was hoping to lead a heroic counter charge. Sallying forth like a warrior of old. Oh, what we will probably do, actually, I suppose, is move up and attack the bog. And I'm not talking about the toilet. For those connoisseurs of old English slang, where bog meant the bathroom. Uh, every nation has their own version of that, don't they? Um, I think that one's the dunny. It's like the old 80s thing. Where's your dunny? Oh, out the back, mate. Good times. I was going to say, I'm fairly confident that that was a Bulgarian soldier. Alright, charge forth across the bridge. Move, move, move. Ah. In the name of Archduke Ferdinand. Well, in the memory of Archduke Ferdinand. Oh, I've already bypassed the enemy. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm a slightly over-ambitious in my attacks. Although not having a bugger off, allies. I'm trying to explain exposition. As I was going to say, without having a HUD, I kind of just skip over my objective somewhat. Alright, let's just patch myself up, ignore the bullet grazings on my shoulders and legs, and get to the business of shooting back these allies. It's interesting how in both wars they were called the allies. In the first war, it was allies and central powers. In the sixth war, second war, it was allies and Axis. Oh, Vasily Ero... Erolenko? Hmm. Odd. What an odd individual. Right, well, I want the bog fortifications back. Our troops need somewhere to take a poo. Come on, Julius. All right. Are we in the position? Where exactly do we need to be to get the 
Oh, we need to be in this line of fortifications. Okay. Here? Here. Alright. Here we stand and here we fight. Unbroken and unbowed. The spirit of the ages is upon us. And guess! Guess! Cover! Ah. Alright. No filthy guess going to get to me. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. I know it's kind of a forlorn dream because there's literally just specks in the horizon and pixels to probably you guys viewing, but I really want to see if I can pull off some of these shots I'm trying to make for my own military strategy's sake. Oh, bastard. Stop breathing so heavily. You're not making a low-budget porno. You're fighting a battle. There is no need for you to breathe so heavily, dear Austrian soldier. Ah. There we go. Boo! Boo! Petrov hates Austrians. All right. What other weapons could we possibly play with? Eh. Believe it or not, I think the standard loadout is the best because you get rifle, bayonet, and a pistol. We may as well switch it up a little. Oh, yeah, I was going to make another lives and deaths of adventure at some point. Yeah, it's just finding time. Uh, working on the islands has kind of depleted a lot of my spare time that I used to have. Oh. Huh. Oh. Now, look, bugger off. I'm trying to figure out my secret abilities. Ah, oh, okay, so I can... Oh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. As I said, I haven't really messed about with some of the unlocks and stuff in this. Right. Dump this bloody gas mask. I must admit, I do love this rifle. Has great iron sights and decent accuracy. Mm, shoot them down. Ah! Frickin' Russian! This is turning into a bloody stalemate again, lads, and I don't like it. I want that boardwalk. It's a personal honor issue at this stake. Alright. Troops, we need to bloody move forward. You can't be bogged down. And yes, that is ironic, because we are literally fighting in a bog. But I believe any soldier with half a brain can understand what I'm speaking. We must keep pushing the attack. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. And while I am personally a more defensive general and tactician than most... Even I can appreciate the need for a solid bastion of attack. Ooh. Bollocks. That was a stupid mistake on the enemy part. How? I would like to register a formal complaint. I was behind the wooden barricade, lads. How the bloody Christmas does that work? I was behind the barricade. Now, maybe Shrapnel would have gotten through, and I will accept that outcome. However, at the worst, I should have gotten severely wounded. It's not like the grenade's going to rip apart the solid log barricade and turn that into more Shrapnel. Because, yeah, a grenade wouldn't have that s the sufficient explosive power to do something like that. I guess we'll just enjoy the morning. Also, is it me or is there... Where does the weather actually change throughout the map as you go? Like, throughout the thing you go? Because if it does, then I'm A, ashamed to myself for not noticing it. But B, also very impressed by the level of effort. Because it honestly seems like it's lighter out now than it was when I started. Alright, so don't get stuck up on the bear, okay? Alright. 
there we go. Yeah, I want to crouch down. Alright, I've got myself my trusty handgun. Now, the sights on this thing are as ugly as a brick, but... Oh! Ow! I almost feel sorry for that guy. <laughs> oh! And that wasn't even like a... Oh, like, bloody shot in the chest. Walk through the door and just bang! One shot. Oh, that was brutal. Sorry, I'm trying to not let myself be killed. It might be cowardice, you consider, but I believe this is the tactical situation. I think this pistol has 8 round magazine, so we should be okay. Good. But we're losing the center in the south while I've been... Are you Germans? Yes, okay, so I've been shooting at Germans this whole time. That's rather embarrassing. Oh, manually reloading rounds into a pistol. What kind of heresy is this nonsense? Oh, these more Germans. Good. We shall counter attack on the center from our newfound position and take the German wall. No, I will not continue doing this outrageous accent because I can understand it is probably stupid and offensive. So I shall stop. Two kills from that was not the worst in the world. Um. Sometimes the best attack defense is attack. Can't go to the dugout headquarters, but we could move south and attack the entrenched artillery. Alright. In the name of... I don't even know... I know Archduke Ferdinand, but I don't even know... Um, who his... Uh, was it father or uncle was? Who was actually in charge of Austria-Hungary at this time. Ow. Uh, the problem with this game, and not so much with Verdun actually, definitely more this game, and it was exacerbated worse when they made the map sizes smaller. And I've always railed about this, and I always believe it to be true. The spawn system sucks, because everyone spawns together with the waiting time. Everyone spawns together in waves, which is realistic for the setting, because, you know, troops were sent in as waves. However, it's fucking irritating, because... You kill a bunch of enemies, move into the enemy position, and the next wave spawns, and you've got to deal with that. And it's really annoying because you're never fighting one enemy at a time. While it's realistic to the setting, it's, you know, it's annoying as shit because you're never fighting one enemy at a time. They're always waves of them. So, let's say, you know, charge across no man's land down to the lowland trench, right? Um, kill three enemies on the way. When I get to the lowland trench, those three enemies will all respawn at the lowland trench and attack me. So, even though uh, you know I had to fight those guys one, two, three along the way, when I get to the enemy position, I have to fight all three of them at once. And that wave-based spawning, while realistic and you can't really change it because it's part of the setting and everything, it makes it frustrating as bollocks to have to try and fight through it. Because you're constantly, forever outnumbered. Uh, and of course your teammates are slightly dumb as a brick. So it's basically left up to you to do most of the work. <sighs> I love the look of this Austrian pistol. It looks lovely. It's The sights are the most ugly thing in the frickin' universe though. Uh, the, yeah, the sights are the ugliest thing in the universe. If this thing had reformed sights, it would be a lot more efficient, in my opinion. But that, that is just hideous to have to aim down. Alright, the line has stabilized. Forward to entrenched artillery, soldiers. Buddy, get up and... Ah! Screw you, 
Vasily Piratowski. I bet you join the Red Communists and start the help with the revolution. Where is he? Is he still alive? Let's go find him. I like to believe in my heart that that was him. Yes, that's my opinion of you. Oh, this it really is aiming down a brick. Alright, rifle time. Oh, he stopped. If he'd kept running, I would have got him as he ran. Crazy. Sometimes you need to take the time to aim the extra shot. That guy f blew his chance. He had the perfect time to aim at me, but he just tried to fire. If he'd actually taken the additional time to stop and aim, he would have got me. Oh, also, while well, we're at it, actually. There we go. Place an ammo crate down. Come on, troops. May as well. If we place the ammo crate in here, then the next wave of troops that spawn, if they get in a firefight, can fire with these guys. Uh, also, with a HUD, you can never tell how you're doing. So, you're... You know, your skill, kind of, you have to dictate yourself, so... You might be getting a lot more kills than you think, or you might be getting a lot less kills than you think. In the end, it's all down... Awesome! To how you play. I still think No HUD is definitely the better way to play. It completely changes the dynamic. I think it's great. Ah, <sighs> I should play with No HUD more often. Maybe not every game.